Hello everyone and welcome back to Pixar. My name is Decorsa and today, today I'm going to be working on getting up to level 15, making a raft, and finally crossing over to those ruins. Hopefully that's not a bad idea. Just hopefully. And um, let's see what else. Um, I also want to build a base today of some sort, just a base of operations so I can actually not be living in a hole in the ground, which, you know, lovely hole in the ground here. And uh, also, this guy. Find a relic treasure box, difficulty three. There are many ancient relics in this world. Try to find a relic treasure box. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I'm assuming that there's something somewhere that I need to find. That's very descriptive. Anyways, I stopped off at level 12. I need three more levels before I can build a raft. Oh, oh. Hi there. No, 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 you come back. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah, you're going to take a while. Level 61? <whistles> yeah, well, I'm going to stock this packy for a little bit, and um, I am definitely going to claim it. Oh, oh, I don't have a name. I do not have a name. Um, we're going to call you Butler. <laughs> All right. That is a ridiculous name for a packy, but it's okay. Wait a second. They're mate boosted. <gasps> Donnie's a female. <laughs> oh no. Okay, where is the hole that I made? Here. Okay, so I need to level up to level 15. I'm going to try to figure out the best way to do that, and I will be right back. Ooh, wait, 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 there's a firefly. Come here, firefly. Hey, hey, come back. Um... Buggy! Alright, now where'd you go? Let's go ahead and give you food. Um, there you go. And boop! Permanent light source! Now on my shoulder. Woohoo! I leveled up. Hit level 15. Awesome! Right, so now I have to go into my Ingram list and see what's up there. Whoa, too far. Too far. Hang on. Okay, level 15. Oh, I can make sleepy arrows. Ooh, leather equipment. That's important too. And, um, wooden raft. Awesome. There we go. I just needed to get into the water, apparently. Ha-ha! Wow, that sail is large and obnoxious. It's a parasaur! Come on, let's turn around. Ooh, 
Ooh, what are these? Oh, it's just, just bushes. All right, well, now that I'm over here, let's take a look at what these are. Oh, oh, that's not good. Maybe I should make my uh, leather armor. It's a Dodicarus. Must be level, what, 30? Yeah. Oh. No, I am not. I'm not dealing with compies. Yep, not dealing with compies. You guys can drown under there for all I care. That's right, swim under the boat. Drown. <laughs> I do hope you guys drown. I've got 74 leather now, so I should be able to easily make my full set of leather armor. So I basically have a, what, a biker jacket and an aviator helm? Guess what it looks like. The armor difference is uh, not all that much, actually. Oh, but it did level up again, so one more point for health. Oh, and I can also make a shield. Let's not forget about that. All right. So what I'm gonna try to do is first off, whoa. What's going on? Why did it suddenly get so cold? Um, I need to find a way to get inside and- Oh my god, what happened to my face? I'm so cold that it freezed my face off. Oh, no, no, my face is still there. It's all good. No, it's just freezing on top of the river. That is very, very strange indeed. Does not look like there's anything under these structures. Okay, club at the ready. All right, I know that there is a coyote over in the corner there.
Whoa, why am I suddenly starving? Okay, I guess it's probably not suddenly, but I bet it has something to do with the cold. Okay, yeah, that's level 26. I don't want to deal with that. Well, that's level 28, not wanting to deal with that either. Okay. Okay. Wow, it's cold out here. Did it suddenly turn to winter? It's only day two. Or, no, it's day three. Take that back, it's day three, but... Holy crap, is it already winter? Okay, but I stand no chance of killing those coyotes. Unless I can find something over here that is excellent at killing coyotes. Which I am highly, highly doubting. You know, I did see some parasaurs around here. Maybe they're not going to be the best for uh, getting rid of wolves out of these ruins. Because I really want to explore these ruins, but wolves, you know. Try to use a bow and trank arrow to put a creature to sleep. Huh. Sure, I'll give that a shot. Oh, I knocked the wolf out. Um, there, take some raw meat. Raw meat should be fine. I was not expecting that. Oh, look, I can tame a coyote. Well, how about that? I'm still freezing to death. Okay, you're gonna be Sherry. Except. Oh! Um... Um, hey, you killed my wolf. Get back here. That's right. Get tamed. While I starve to death. Are you male or female? You're female? Okay, um... How about you be Sherry? The other Sherry didn't count. <laughs> Apparently. Alright, well, come along. I am getting out of this terrible place. You are very slow. Huh. You know what? Sherry is apparently a curse to name. So, what have I learned here? That the uh, dinos, or rather the creatures are very weak when it comes against carnivores? Okay, but the Dilo killed the coyote, and then a Packy killed the Dilo. Does that mean a Packy can kill a coyote? If that's the case, I should probably take a Packy 
over and um, see if they can deal with those dungeon coyotes. This is very confusing. All right, let me look for the fur armor. Yeah, I don't get fur until level 29. By that point, I'll have tamed, pretty much have tamed a trike, particularly this trike that keeps coming by. You are a very high level trike. I shall prize and value you forever. Just don't die before I can tame you. Okay, well, half of my objective has been completed. I went over there and I um, got anxious about coyotes when apparently they're not a big deal. I don't know, the dungeon coyotes might be different than the ones that are on the outside. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't trust them as far as I can throw them and I don't think I can throw them at all, so. I can't say that I trust them at all. So I guess what I'm going to do now instead is I'm going to go ahead and try to build a little base of operations here. I think a base of operations is going to be my best bet at this point. Because otherwise I will have done nothing. Wow. The um, pick is very efficient at tearing up ground. Okay, well, I hope grass grows back. It, actually, no, it looks like it might. I don't know. I don't know if that has spread or not. Well, we'll see in probably a few game days time if grass will spread. Is that you? Oh my god, your face is ugly. Anyways, um, hopefully grass spreads. Why are you a different color? Doesn't matter. Okay. Anyways, for like the fourth time, hopefully grass spreads and it will replenish this area. If it does not, I shall be sad, but there's nothing I can do about it. However, what I will do is actually start building, like I said I would. So yeah, this seems tiny, and uh, yeah, it is tiny, but we're gonna make it work, somehow. 
Whoa! Hello there, Or. Fancy meeting you here. Wow, I am going to be able to just dive right into smelting once I'm able to get into smelting. Wow, this is really amazing. I definitely was not expecting to get uh, copper ore this early on. It's especially shocking that it was just right here, right under the ground. Although I did do a considerable amount of digging to find it, sure, but... Okay, now time to cover this all back up. So now... If I do this... Ah, beautiful. Yes, I much prefer this on the exterior than the side of this one. Although I guess I could have just used a regular stone foundation, but that would have defeated the purpose now, wouldn't it? Now, okay, so I'm wondering, can I put a door on top of a wall? Let's get a stone door. And yes, I can put a door on top of. Oh no, the doors are too wide. Doors are too wide, that is not good. It means I've got to make all of this one wider. I cannot stand things that are off-center. Oh wait, hang on. I'm overreacting, I'm overreacting. I made it an even number. Still, that door is kinda huge. All right, so from here, that is one, two, and three tall. That is a lot of stone. Oh, oh, that is terrible. Don't make me feel bad about killing dodos. So we're just gonna go too high on this. Beautimus. All right, and then I'm gonna go, I guess two layers of wood on top of this. Okay, now the question is, did I want a second floor on this thing? It doesn't look bad so far. Yeah, it actually looks quite nice. Very nice.
All right. Oh, that is gonna look nice. So let's jump off. And uh, it's one in the morning. <laughs> All right, well, I'll finish this up and we'll take a look at it in the light. Well, it's now daytime. Well, earlier in the morning than it, or sorry, later in the morning than it was the last time I tried to show this off, but yeah, I added some windows. We got a beautiful roof on it and uh, yeah. I think we're in the clear on this. And if we take a look on the inside, it is much less spacious than it looks on the outside. We've got windows at least. Open those up. Bye, trike. Bye, trike. You can kind of see out over the, uh, what is it, a bay? Is it an inland sea? I have no idea what it is. We have not explored enough to determine that. If I crouch, I can jump out the window. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, judging by the fact that none of the grass has grown back, I do not think it grows back on its own. Um, hi. Uh, why are you on my raft? Miss Trike? Um, I, I can't give you anything. Trikes will be trikes, apparently. Alright, well, I think that's gonna do it for today. I actually went over and looked at the ruins, but it decided to start snowing, so I, uh... Yeah, I was freezing to death the entire time I was over there. But, returning from that, we built a house. A lovely house with a nice red tile roof. With a little bit of a brick foundation, small brick wall for support, and... Yeah, I think it looks nice. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And have yourselves a very good day.